of the biggest challenges you have uh, coming up against Northwestern? Say that again. Some of the biggest challenges that you have, especially with oh, the offense. Oh, I just think, I think uh, first off, you got to throw out the game on, on Thursday night. That's not them. Illinois played outstanding. Didn't miss shots. Northwestern made, missed shots they usually make. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on that game. We know we're going to get a great game from them. We know they're going to be very hungry at home, and they're going to want to come out and redeem themselves, as do we. And I think that's what's most important. Their offense, the Princeton offense, the, the backdoor cut, stuff like that, the, the, the focus on defense you're going to need to have. Oh, I don't think there's any question uh, of that. And I don't know if you can ever just guard those guys one way, because no matter what you think you know, they know it so much more. And, and uh, they've got an answer for everything. And uh, it's not only the system, uh, certainly it's the personnel that's inside of the system. So we've got to be really, really locked into what their, what their strengths are. You know, they have their team strengths, they all have their individual strengths, and you've got to know both equally well. The other night you were talking about how you had Keebler and Pop Harbor back to back, and now you have Sherna. I mean, just one more guy. It just keeps getting, yeah, and that's not alone. I mean, you've got a freshman in Cobb that took 19 shots. You've got Drew Crawford who leads them in shot attempts. You've got Michael Thompson who's a, one of the better guards, not only in the league but in the country, for doing exactly what needs to be done, uh, playing at a high level and making shots. So, again, you can't go up there and focus on one individual player, and, and that's the strength of this league. It really is. I think that's why it's the best league in the country. No matter who you play, it's never like you're just getting ready for two or three guys. Everybody's got a leading score. Everybody's got a second leading score. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's their only two or three guys. And so we've got to be, we've got to be locked into their team. And, and, and judging even from last year, you got to know what's coming off the bench. You got to know what what they have. Five men that can shoot threes. You know they have point guards who can post up. I mean it's a very unique team, and you've got to be locked into that. How your practices been? Responded. I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. I just say how your practices. Oh, they've been, been very good. Tuesday. They've been very good. Very good. Very upbeat, and um, we've mixed them in the sense of what we've tried to get accomplished. Some have been very uh, game plan oriented. Some have been very oriented towards what we're trying to get better at. But they've been good. Kind of elaborating on that, then, because you obviously have to have a lot of discipline, discipline in defense if you can play this team with that offense and everything. I mean, are you seeing what we need to see? In well, we have to have discipline, but you can't. You can't have. Uh, Paralysis by analysis during the game, either, and, and, and because that'll get you. I mean, they're they're a quick moving team, and uh, uh, they cut the, the, the teams that that, that 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 have been a part of that system for so long. And I think Bill's group does this as good as any in the country. They, they never stop cutting hard, ever, and they never stop reading their cuts. And and uh, they're really not a multiple offense team. They're going to run those things. They're going to put a couple variations in there and you have to deal with it. But at the same time, they have certain things they do at the shot clock. And they, they, they've got, you know, there, there's an individual personality to each player, and he knows how to get to that in the sense of what they try to do. So you've got to be disciplined, but you have to have energy. You have to have some emotion. You know, you don't need to be emotional, but you have to have some emotion going through this. And, and you've got to be willing to, to, to defend every cut. You've got to be, but most importantly, you've got to understand that this team as, as, as strong as the cutting is, they shot 38 threes the other night at Illinois. And, and so uh, they, they, they live on ball movement. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's the back cut or it's a three-point shot. You've got to be alert. And alert. As, you met, as you mentioned uh, a minute ago about three-point shooting, they're one of the better three-point shooting teams at the conference. What do you need to do defensively to limit that production from the perimeter? Limit their touches. Limit their touches on the three-point line. I mean, there can't be a lot of space there. Does this team approach road games better than it has in the past or, or differently? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think that's all part of it. I think any time you, you're growing and you're maturing, I don't think there's any question. But I, I thought our approach was good at Boston College in Kentucky, and it's just continued to get better. And uh, uh, I, I think that that's a, a, a real sign of their, their maturity. I mean, they were highly confident the other night at Minnesota. And a lot of times it showed. And other times when we when we, we didn't make the right plays or, or we, we didn't, again, it goes back to we just, we, we can't build a hole for ourselves because we're not as good at getting out of that hole. Eventually we'll learn to get through that. But we're not, but we're not to that point yet. We need a breakthrough. And hopefully it comes on Sunday. And you aren't interested in moral victories. I know that. But is there anything that you could bring forward from my, uh, the last game to kind of help you in this one? Last game with Minnesota? Yeah. Oh, I think so. Yeah, but I think that's more them, uh, the experience of them just going through it than it is any one thing that we would bring out. There, there are things that, that, that we need to get better at as a whole, and, and there are things that 
when you point the numbers out to them or you or you show it to them on video, they see it. Now they got to do a better job of seeing it during the game. And and as we keep telling these guys right now, when you when you first start, okay, you learn to pass, you learn to shoot, you learn to dribble. And then you go down the line and you start to learn that rebounding really matters, and that 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 uh, certainly playing defense really matters. You better understand that one of the greatest fundamentals you can have is the ability to make adjustments. And we've got to be able to make better adjustments during the game. Adjustments is communication, it's knowledge of the game, uh, it's energy. There's all those different things that fit into adjustments. And in the game, it never plays its way out the way you would expect it would for either team. And a lot of times, the old saying of the team that makes the fewest mistakes wins, were the teams that make the best adjustments as players during the game in the course of action. And that's what we're tra during the course of action. We're trying to get them to really understand that, that you got to make adjustments on the fly. And, 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 it, and it can't just be when the coach calls timeout, and it can't just be from a coach. It's got to be from the players inside of the game. And, and that's why having conversations, you know, those hundreds of conversations that you need to have in the course of the game, that's what communication is. It's not just watch the pick or ball screen left. I mean, it's the conversations you need to have, and we need to learn to do a better job of that. Has it been tougher to develop that over the years because you didn't have the upper class? Oh, without a doubt. Through? Yeah, without a doubt. Because, when you, because, because you're not talking to people that have any idea of what you're talking about. And, and, and it doesn't get reinforced when they go into the locker room. Not because they don't want to. They just don't necessarily know how to because they didn't have it handed down to them. So, yeah, that, that, that was part of it. But we're starting to grow through that. But, but again, the, the guys that were asking to do that, again, they didn't have that come to them. So they've got to they've got to understand that hey this is the only way it can be done. So that's why you point out what other teams do, you point out what uh, other successful sports do, you know, and you show them those things as much as possible. It's never just one thing.